Okay, so I'm at the gym. I am about to work on my goal of being able to run non-stop for 40 minutes. Let's hope I did better than last time. Okay, so I just ran 40 minutes um, non-stop. Admittedly, it was on 7.5 speed, so I maybe want to crank it up a little bit, but I am really impressed with myself. I feel great. Now, I forgot to remind you, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see how much money I have left over from Frugal February and more importantly, get ready for Manifesting March because I have, I have a feeling it's going to be incredible. All right, another thing that I've been trying to do during Frugal February, which I haven't mentioned yet, is I've been trying to really look at using my time more efficiently. Um, in my video, How to Have the Best Year of Your Life, one of my personal goals is to slow down, stop trying to squeeze so much in my day. However, the reality is that I do need to squeeze a lot into my day. So I've realized I've got to be very efficient. So in summary, I'm trying to just be in the car a lot less and try and use my time like wisely. So like kills many birds with one stone, um, so to speak, obviously no harm to animals. And whilst I was at the gym, I quickly dropped some dry cleaning off, some alterations. Um, I had a little splurge. Ta-da! I would never ever buy magazines because whenever I buy magazines, as much as I love them, I always end up spending money by heading to the shops or jumping online. But I have an excuse this time because I'm in it. Um, and I'm talking about my book, The Thousand Dollar Project, New Idea Interviewed Me. It's in this week's copy. And they talk about like what I did and my headspace and why I created The Thousand Dollar Project and obviously talking about my new book, which is so exciting. So I'm thinking I could maybe claim the cost of this magazine off my tax as a legitimate tax deduction. I'll see what my accountant says. So I am at Toys R Us. Um, about nine months ago, I bought for Rocco for his birthday a leap pad um, to help encourage him to like read and uh, I guess engage more um, with his educational skills, I guess. Anyway, the, it stopped charging a couple of months ago and normally I just kind of like go, oh well, like, and not sort of think too much about it. But this time I was like, actually no, I paid a lot of money for this. It's so $152 um, after a discount, and I just thought that's not good enough. So I called Toys R Us, they very kindly, and I called LeapPad, and they've said just bring it back to Toys R Us, we'll give you a refund, we'll send it off to the um, factory and see what was wrong with it. Um, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do that. And I, you know, so many times I just think, oh well, it's, you know, it must have been a cheap toy, not worth having, you know, and so many of Rocco's toys these days do break quite easily because kids are quite rough with toys. But I'm putting my foot down and I'm going to get my money back and the money I get from this I'm going to put towards Frugal February. So if you are out there and you're thinking about toys that but your children's that broke easily, dare to go back to the manufacturer or shop and say that's not good enough. You deserve your money back or a replacement. That was so quick and easy and I am getting $152 deposited into my savings account in the next I think 24 hours. I'm going to put that into, draw the cash and put it into the savings tin. I'm so glad I made the effort to do this. All right, I'm putting $150 in here. I had to distract myself, which I'll explain in a second. Um, and so I went to the bank account and I proactively took $150 out because I was worried I might get tempted to spend that or I might accidentally spend it. So proactively, that $150 Toys R Us are depositing into my account, I've already put away in the money tin. So that is all gonna add up. Also, um, I had to return some camera equipment um, that I bought earlier in the week for work. It was faulty. And the camera store were like, okay, leave it with us. Go and have a wander around the shops and we'll call you when it's ready. And I was like, crap, that is so dangerous and so tempting because um, all the beautiful shops were around me and I saw all these really nice things that I wanted to buy and try on. Um, so that's why I went and withdrew that money as a good distraction. I did admittedly go and try a dress on, which I loved, but I couldn't even buy it anyway because I've always already used up the allowance of my clothing budget for this month. Anyway, I'm, I exercised self-control, I didn't spend any money, got the equipment replaced, and I'm now on my way to go to a kid's play date, and I've already packed snacks, so I don't need to waste any money. However, I may buy some dips for the adults. So it's 9.15 at night, I'm just giving the house a nice quick clean as part of my nighttime ritual, because I hate coming down to a messy, dirty house. It's the worst way to start the day. Anyway, I am... Um, Barely spent any money today. Um, we had a play date this afternoon. Um, the other mother um, packed snacks, as did I. I did buy some dip and that came out of my weekend budget. Actually, the dip was really gross and a complete waste of money. 
Anyway, um, my friend um, knew I loved banana bread. So not only did she bring some banana bread for me, but she also told me to go to Harris Farm and she said you can buy this banana bread um, and keep it in your fridge or even in your freezer at home. And she bought it with her and it was so delicious. So now I know I don't need to, you know, if I want to continue on being frugal, I don't need to sacrifice my love of banana bread. I can enjoy it, um, you know, throughout the week and not, you know, feel guilty about it. I'm really determined to keep this as frugal as possible because I really want to try and like at the end of next week, I really want to crack open and see like heaps of money, like busting out of that money tin. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. Okay, so we are at Sonda and we are having banana bread, marshmallows, a strong cappuccino, and I'm gonna enjoy every second of this. Mm. Well, while Rocco is getting a swimming lesson, I'm gonna go do laps right there. It's Saturday afternoon, Rocco has crashed and fallen asleep. So I'm using this time to try and get some work done as much as possible and I've also put a face mask on which is why my skin looks so greasy and oily right now. It is late Saturday afternoon and so far I think I've spent less than 75% of my weekend budget. Um, we had swimming lessons and um, then we crashed on the sofa, or we'll Rocco crashed on the sofa. I got bought a really cost-effective um, lunch, which half I ended up freezing for another time. Um, and I was planning on actually having just a really quiet night in um, at home with Rocco, um, which is what we did last night. Um, anyway, um, I've just found out a group of friends are uh, um, meeting up the road at a pub um, to catch up for drinks and um, one person in particular, one group, one part of the group has just had some good news. So I was kind of like, okay, well, if I can get a babysitter, you know, I'll go out for just a couple of hours. I won't have a, um, a long night. It won't cost too much. And I kind of just, I had, I did, I admit, have massive FOMO, but then I just went, okay, just breathe into this. If it's meant to be, you'll be able to find a babysitter. If not, it's okay. You'll be able to have a really quiet night at home, um, feel fresh tomorrow morning, spend more time with Rocco, and add more money to the money tin. Um, someone messaged back and said, yep, that was no problem to look after Rocco. And this is really funny because I used to babysit all the time um, when I was saving up for my deposit on my home. My, and also when I had a mortgage um, it, previously, I have a mortgage now, of course. Um, and I always just think, why did the mothers always get me to come over like half an hour or an hour earlier than they were actually going out? And now I know exactly why, and it is well worth the investment. I've got the loveliest babysitter to come over and I asked to come over an hour early so I can clean the house and I can have one hour to myself <laughs> and enjoy getting dressed and do my hair and makeup in peace. And I also um, get that comfort and peace of mind knowing that Rocco is perfectly happy and getting along with the babysitter and he's having a great time. He's actually, um, this poor girl is so sweet and Rocco is just so incredibly enthusiastic to see her and he's just showing her every single toy that he owns. Um, so look, I am gonna go out. I'm not gonna go for very long. I even thought about maybe driving so that I wouldn't waste money on alcohol. But then I realized I would like to have one glass um, and I'm such a lightweight, I'm not even gonna risk being over the limit. Um, so I will get an Uber. Fortunately, it's just up the road. So it's going to be a really cheap ride up to the pub and you know, not a long night. So hopefully I'll still have a decent amount of money to put in um, my money tin, but I do feel a little bit guilty, but again, I didn't, this isn't about depriving myself. It's about also balance. And I had a quiet night in last night and I've had been really good this week with my budget. I think it's okay to go out tonight for a few hours and enjoy a nice relaxing time with my friends catching up with them. I just did my makeup all by myself. No one was telling me to hurry up. No one was like pushing me out of the bathroom or saying pick me up and carry me or cuddle me or can I do your makeup for you. Um, I did it all by myself slowly and calmly and it was so nice. So I'm about to go and do something with my hair because it's looking horrendous with all this humidity 
and I'm starting to get really excited about going out. So I may have completely underestimated the level of celebration for my friends. And I had one of those nights where I didn't actually ask for a drink or order any additional drinks. There's just one constantly put in my hand the moment my glass was empty. I left when I wanted to, very good to self-discipline. I've left all my friends out and I'm having major FOMO because they're out having so much fun celebrating. And I was, the one thing I had in my mind was like, it's fine, I'm gonna come home. Someone would have put Rocco in his own bed for once and I'm gonna get into my own bed and like stretch out and fall asleep and relax. No, Rocco has pulled the wool over the babysitter's eyes and he is fast asleep in my bed. So in the meantime, I'm trying to, I'm snacking on basically chicken crimpy biscuits and I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired, but you know, I've had a really fun night and on a positive note and a very, I'm very grateful, Tom actually contributed towards the cost of the babysitter tonight, which, which is very kind and very um, generous of him. But he's like, well, I made you come out tonight and celebrate. So um, he, yeah, get, put some cash towards the cost of paying the babysitter and she was so lovely and so nice. So, all right, I'm off to bed, I'm so tired. So it turns out my FOMO from last night, leaving early um, before my friends was actually not necessary at all. Um, my friends left apparently an, af an hour after I did, missed nothing um, and I've woken up feeling pretty fresh. I'm not hungover at all. I think I was really tired more than really drunk. Anyway, Tom is a little bit hungover, so I'm feeling really good about myself. Um, and it is a miserable day here in Sydney. Um, it's Sunday, I'm gonna use this time to do some work, catch up on my emails, um, and um, I'm actually started like minimizing the home, like just going through and just doing a little declutter here and there. And that is something that is really fun to do. Well, for me, it's, <clears throat> it's really fun. It costs nothing. It's a frugal, fun activity for the weekend if you're looking for things to do that are cost effective and you may even actually end up making money by selling the things that you're decluttering and minimizing. So I'm going to get back to it. So last night whilst I was doing my makeup, I realized I haven't really spent much money on my beauty services that I would normally get. I'm not someone who like gets spray tans every week because I normally give myself a spray tan. I'm not someone who gets like nails done every week or you know has a really expensive hairdresser or anything like that. I'm pretty low maintenance, particularly from a cost perspective. Anyway, this morning I was looking at my checking my bank account and I was like, oh, there's a lot more money in there than it should be. Like, what have I forgotten about? And then I realized there are a couple of expenses that I haven't done this month. And Things like I I would normally allocate you know fifty dollars once per month to get my nail nails done um, and I haven't done that this frugal February they're looking natural and they are perfectly fine and I haven't really missed that so I need to make sure that I go through my budget app and I work out what expenses I have allocated for but haven't actually done or used or spent so I can take that money out and put it in the money tin so hopefully there's going to be a lot of money in that tin. So being a cold, wet, rainy Sunday, I have made a huge batch of spaghetti bolognese. I was so impressed with how much I made last week and how far it went and how long it lasted us. I've yet cooked up another massive batch and perfect for Tom, who's that will help heal his hangover. Also, I bought myself a little treat. Um, these are the best cupcakes I have ever had. And they actually are at the top of my street and really dangerously close. Now, this one I got, they're so good, it's like a buttercream. This is a, just a cho basic chocolate cupcake. It is so good. I may have already eaten one before filming this, but I'm going to now enjoy eating this. Um, oh, it looks so good, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> so it's pretty much rained all day long. I have so much wet laundry. I don't know how I'm going to dry it. Um, I have caught up on all of my work, which feels so good. And I have even had a nap, which costs nothing. 
However, I have learned something new. So this morning, um, I opened up my wallet and to see how much money was left over from my you know weekend budget, and I was quite impressed with how much I had. I pulled it out to put it into the money tin, but got distracted and left it on Tom's bedside table. Anyway, a few hours later, I went to grab it to sort of get, sort of get ready to film. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I was searching high and low, like under the bed. I thought maybe Rocco grabbed it. I was playing with it or something. Anyway, turned out Tom took it. <laughs> um, he thought it was his money, got confused. And so when I asked for it back, he said, I'm sorry, I spent it. Now, that's fine. That's okay. Obviously, I'm a bit disappointed because it's not going into the money tin. However, you know what? That's fine. Tom is always very generous and kind and um, he's never stingy with money. So for me to turn around and go, well, pay that back, um, it wouldn't go down well and I wouldn't feel good about myself because he does so much for me and Rocco anyway. However, I do have lots of coins to put into the money tin and now I know to be make sure that when I do pull money out, don't leave cash lying around. Make sure you put it in your money tin before someone else accidentally spends it. So I do have lots of coins to put in here, um, which I'm really excited about doing. And I've also realized February, thank goodness, is a short month. So that explains why I do have a lot of extra cash in my account. But I will talk about that tomorrow once I work out how much I need to allocate towards the money tin and how much I should probably could just keep in my account because there are obviously months where there are quite, there are more weeks or more days in the month and I need to factor that in my budget. Okay, I hope everyone had a great weekend. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. In the meantime, I'm gonna be busy putting all this, well, as much as I can into this money tin um, for the rest of the weekend. Ciao everyone.